Hello my colleagues, this is a new lesson about solving quadratic functions. Yes, 5x to the power 2 minus 3x plus 3 equals 0. Yes, this power 2 is the tricky thing that makes it quadratic. And by graphing the quadratic functions, we can find a very nice curves like this. Okay. And about the etymology of the word, or where did the name come from? The name quadratic comes from quad, which means square in Latin, because the variables get squared. When I say, I say x to the power 2, or x squared. It's also called an equation of the second degree. You know that the equations are quantitated by the largest degree in the functions, which uh, is the power of the leading coefficient. And here's the standard form of the quadratic uh, uh, equations. It looks like a x to the power 2 plus p x plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are unknown values. Uh, these values can be anything except a. a mustn't be 0, because when, if, when a equals 0, there is no quadratic function anymore it becomes linear one because by multiplying a which equals to 0 to x power 2 the leading for coefficient vanishes and still linear equation okay and x x here is the variable and x is the mystery that we try to solve it by solving the quadratic functions there are many ways to solve uh, the mystery of the x and to factor the quadratics uh, the most uh, popular one and the easiest one is by factoring. You say factoring because we find the factors. And the factor of any numbers is the number that may, may, may be multiplied by each other to find this number. Uh, for example, 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. So 2 and 3 are the factors of 6. So what about functions? In functions, there is a bracket multiplied by a bracket equals the this function so those brackets are called the factors and factoring is a, a method of uh, finding these factors here for example the factors of the uh, function x to the power 2 plus 3x minus 4 are 1 x plus 4 and the other x minus 1 how to check that these are the real factors of this equation to check that these factors are the real factors of the, the previous equation, we have to reverse the procedures. We have to multiply them again. x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 1. Here we have uh, x uh, multiplied by x minus 1 and plus 4 multiplied by x minus 1. And here we have x to the power 2 minus x plus 4x minus 4. And then we gather the similar uh, variables like x and uh, positive 4x so negative 4x plus 4x equals 3x and this is equal x power 2 plus 3x minus 4 yes that is the same function uh, that we try to factor it and this uh, procedure is called expanding you know in fact expanding and factoring are opposite procedures here you can expand, here you can factor. Expanding you, uh, seems to be s the easiest way, but factoring may be somehow a tricky way. And here are some examples of how it is tricky. The first example is asking about factorizing uh, the first equation here. 6x to the power 2 minus 2x equals 0. The first procedure that we can take is to find the common factors. Yes. Uh, here it is between 6 and negative 2 there is a common factor which is positive 2 so 2 multiplied by the uh, the brackets 3x to the power 2 minus x equals 0 is the same equation but expressed in uh, in another form or in another way uh, no there is not the end Bet there is, because there is uh, another common factor between x to the power 2 and x which is x both of them can be multiplied by x so 2x multiplied by 3x minus 1 equals 0 is the simplest form to express the same equation. And here we can find the roots or uh, the, the numbers that can 
the values that can make this equation equal zero or solving the equation for the one variable here which is x first of all i can substitute the x by two ways first of all to to pretend that 2x equals 0 or the 3x minus 1 why i said this because the in the right hand side i have 0 so in the left hand side one of these factors or both of them must be 0 and first of all i can say 2x is 0 when x is 0 and 3x minus 1 is 0 when the x equal one third and these are the two roots of the equation or the some things that make the function equal zero here is the in detailed plan of how to find any trinomial or how to solve any trinomial quadratic functions which consists of three terms or two terms just by four steps first of all we can find uh, we can determine which is the a of the function, the p of the function, and the c of the function. Yes, here we have 6, positive 5, and negative 6. And the first step is to find the a c of this function, or the value of a multiplied by the value of c, which here is 6 multiplied by negative 6 equals to negative 36. Okay, and the p of the function, which is positive 5. And then list all the possible factors of the negative 36. What can be the factors negative 36? Uh, it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. All of these values can be positive or negative. And here we have the product is negative 36. So one of the numbers has to be negative to make it negative 36. Because you know it is a product of multiplying a positive number with a negative number. So we have not these possible, possible factors only. But we have them in the negative form. Okay. So by a few different attempts or tries to, to find this out. We can find that negative 4 and 9 works nicely. How? Because negative 4 multiplied by 9 can be equal to negative 36. And negative 4 plus 9 equals 5, which is the p of the function. And then we rewrite the p uh, of the function by the new form, which is negative 4x, positive 9x. You can say that negative 4x, positive 9x really equals 5x, but we rewrite them to be able to then uh, find the another common factors to uh, factor this equation okay the uh, so the new form will be 6x to the power 2 negative 4x positive 9x negative 9 or minus 9 okay and then we factor the first two and the last two yes because the first two 6x to the power 2 and negative 4 have a common factor which is 2x and after factoring it will be 2x multiplied by 3x minus 2 and the two, the last two will be 9x negative 6 or 9x uh, minus 6 and the fa and the common factor here will be 3 so it will be uh, 3 multiplied by 3x minus 2 so the the whole form uh, finally will be 2x multiplied by 3x minus 2 plus 3 multiplied by 3x minus 2 you can find that 3x minus 2 can work perfectly as a common factor itself so it will be 3x minus 2 multiplied with another bracket which is 2x plus 2 plus 3 and here are the two factors of this equation another procedure that we can take it to find these roots to find the values of x under the both situations that was one way to find uh, the value of x or to solve the quadratic function. The another way is by using the general form. Stay tuned and wait for our new episode and have a nice time. Thanks for watching.